Today is a video presented by EA Game Changers. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now we're actually getting early access to the new Get Famous pack, you guys. I had so much fun building with this. All of the new items, I completely forgot how much I loved all of this build and buy. The only thing, like where are our counters? <laughs> Sims team, where's the new counters for Get Famous? But anyways, I finally was able to get into this pack. Took me a little bit of time because my code was not working, so I didn't really have as much time as I wanted to because unfortunately, I am gonna be away until Friday. So I am hoping on getting like another build up for Saturday and hoping also to get the new Get Famous Let's Play going with you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun, everything that I do have planned for that one. So one thing that I really wanted to get into with this build in particular was the new terrain tool. So in case you guys aren't aware, this is actually something that you can get in your game completely for free. So if you are not like planning on getting get famous or if you cannot afford to get it yet, you can still use the terrain tools to kind of play around with your builds. And it also does come with the new social influencer or style influencer career. So you're going to be able to have that. And there's also a new challenge kind of similar to like the Day of the Dead, how you have like different quests to do around the town so that should be all in your game all you're gonna have to do is actually just go in and update it so if you guys find that I'm not as energetic as usual or my voice is a little off you guys it is like not even seven o'clock in the morning here yet so I'm like getting ready to go out of town and I'm like I've got to get this voiceover done I ended up like building and editing this until like oh my gosh it was like 11 o'clock and I felt like the more that I was building just the more like sloppier the things were getting I definitely would have loved to have had a little bit more time to just kind of like play around with this build but I think it still turned out really cute and I kind of just really wanted to play around with the terrain tool so I can do like something really fancy and really cool with it this weekend. Now this is actually not in the gallery. If you guys would like to see me place this in the gallery on Friday once the pack releases, I definitely can do that <laughs> because it is going to be in my game and I really just wanted to build on this lot in particular because I feel like the views from here are just so pretty because you can see like the big city down below and I do think that this looks so much more like full as a city compared to San Myshuno. There's like so many homes and everything there and um yeah so originally I didn't know if I wanted to do like a darker brown home and I'm like that really doesn't scream Hollywood. <laughs> so I kind of want to do something that's maybe a little bit more like modern mansion but not like too huge. So you guys will probably see something a little bit more like that this weekend. And I kept on changing like the exterior of this home because I couldn't figure out if I wanted it to be like the darker brick or the lighter brick. And I kept playing around with like all of like the train paint as well. I had so much fun with that. I feel like I definitely will probably get in a situation where I kind of like overdo the hills and stuff. I have been seeing so many awesome builds this morning over on Twitter. So I don't know if some people are just like naturally talented, which of course they are or if they stayed up all night, but some of the builds, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even like want to post my home tomorrow, but um, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you guys do enjoy this little build. So this home ended up being three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it does have like an open concept kitchen, living, and dining room area. So I am like so in love with the new brick that comes with this pack and that like wooden shingles that you guys seen. I feel like we needed those with cats and dogs. Like it just kind of like matches perfectly with that. Yeah, I was kind of having a little bit of an issue getting that like step to match like the balcony. <laughs> but um, yeah, oh my gosh. And the ivy on the window boxes. You guys know I have been asking for window boxes forever and I'm like so excited that we finally do have those, so. 
you're probably going to be seeing those on every single build that I do for like the next two months. <laughs> so just giving you guys a little bit of a warning and I don't know why I ended up going with the jungle adventure roofing. I felt like it just looked really cute and bright. I did go like towards the end and I kind of like tried to switch up some of the roofing but I felt like this one just kind of like matched. I mean there was all of the palm trees in the back like or on the side of the home and I just I don't know I kind of liked it. <laughs> so let me know what you guys have been building with the train tools and oh yes and the pillars I was having like a little bit of an issue that you just had to like push down the train a little bit so that they didn't like clip in to the balcony and I felt like the home looked a little bit too simple oh my gosh you can hear Lily trying to like get into my room <laughs> she's like pushing on the door but um yeah so I was kind of having a little bit of an issue with those pillars so I just had to like push the train down just so that they did like go down into yeah you can see right there but I think it's just so easy to use and one thing that I definitely recommend that you do if you're like just starting out with the train tools is to set everything to the lowest setting so you definitely do not want to have your speed set to high <laughs> because you're just gonna like completely ruin the build that you're working on so that's like one thing that I did was just like turn the speed all the way down and I also turned the harshness down just so that I could kind of like you know like make up <laughs> just kind of like add a little bit at a time until I got what I wanted and then once you're done use that like smoothing tool just to like go over all the edges and then it just kind of makes it look like it's a naturally placed hill so I don't know I had so much fun playing with the train tools and I was definitely quite nervous to get started I don't think I really used it too much at Sims Camp. You guys know I went to Sims Camp and I was able to get my hands on it, but I was kind of too nervous to play around with it that much. But yeah, I have like so many builds that I want to do. I have like a whole entire folder of like inspiration pictures. And this one is actually an inspired picture from, there's kind of like, two pictures put together <laughs> I did see this home that had like a split level with the garage that's like on the bottom and the home on the top and then there was like the wraparound hill that kind of like enclosed some of the home and then I ended up just finding this really cute and cozy home that I wanted to like actually make it look like so I kind of combined a bunch of things all together and I think it turned out cute now the home inside does not have that much clutter just because as you guys know I was a little bit on a time crunch so this home I think only took me I'd say probably like two and a half hours <laughs> because even once I did end up downloading the code I ended up having to go to town for supper so that was like two hours of my evening and oh my gosh it was raining so hard so it I didn't like it took me a while <laughs> to get to town and back oh my gosh and yeah so that was a little bit frustrating like that's all I could think about when I was in town so in the bedrooms themselves I kind of wanted them to each have like a completely different style just because with this pack like we are getting so many different styles of furniture whether it's like the golden you know the golden bathroom furniture with the swans on it or like the gamers room so I thought it would be fun to make a gamers bedroom so we have a gamers bedroom we have like a really cute and feminine bedroom and then we have like the parents bedroom and I ended up using like a lot of those new um, clothing racks so I kind of have some ideas for apartments as well but I wanted definitely to play around with the train tools first so you're probably not going to be seeing too many apartments for like the next week <laughs> I might get one up that has like a renovation maybe in like the Lobo apartments I feel like those ones are really fancy so I don't know maybe I'll do one with like a nice walk-in closet but I don't know I'm just kind of like really moted to play around with like the hills and um yeah oh my gosh <laughs> I think I'm starting to get my hiccups back I haven't had those like in forever but I would love to see all of your guys' builds so if you guys are a part of my discord or if you are not the link is in the description 
And I would absolutely love to see your guys' screenshots of any of the home builds that you guys are gonna be doing with this. Or even if you just have the train tools, definitely post some pictures of your homes. I love seeing all of your guys' styles. And I definitely wanna play around with doing some more like contemporary style of homes and modern homes. You guys know I tend to like stay away from that style. <laughs> so I kind of wanna play around with that a little bit more, see what I can do. And yeah, so I ended up going with my like traditional open concept kitchen, living room, dining room area. And I felt like that little spot that has like all of the windows off to the side, that just looks so cute with the tables kind of almost like a little sunroom area. And um, yeah, so the, if you find that this home is a little bit overdone <laughs> with the furniture, definitely, yes it is. I just wanted to use like as much of this furniture as I could. And I feel like whenever one of these packs comes out, whether it's Get Famous or Seasons, Cats and Dogs, I always end up having this build that just has like every single item of the pack in the home just so that I can like play around with it, get used to all of the items because it does kind of take a little bit of time to remember like all of the items that are there. So when you are building, you can't remember that you want to place a specific item because you don't really remember that you have it. <laughs> so I did end up using that floor potted plant and then like that tabletop one everywhere because of course you guys know I love my florals I love my plants and I definitely had to overdo it with those a little bit <laughs> and yeah so I felt like this home definitely needed to have two full bathrooms just because it is a three bedroom and I feel like once you do get three bedrooms like having two bathrooms is definitely a must just because everybody's like always fighting oh my gosh Lily and Luna <laughs> Lily's being so mean to Luna this morning. Like everywhere Luna goes, Lily is just like so angry at her. She's being so snotty. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, now I can't even remember what I was gonna say. But um, yeah, I feel like probably the bedrooms were, other than the train tools, were probably my favorite in this home to build, especially like the teen girls room or like what I pictured. I do feel like a lot of the props I really like the different like interesting designs like one of them has a guitar one of them has like jewelry and then there's like this fashion piece which I think is so freaking cool like if you had a sim that maybe was a fashion designer or was maybe like taking that in high school design or something like that I think that would be really cool so yeah this room here was definitely inspired by Possibly like your teenage sim, your really feminine little girl that, you know, just likes fashion. She really likes makeup because I do actually go back in and add in that little makeup chair because it's so freaking cute. <laughs> and I completely forgot about it, but it definitely fit in that room. And then her brother over here has the gamer's room. So I had a lot of fun with this one as well, using like a bunch of the new posters. And I've got to like just try to remember all of the different, um, the different like posters that are on because there's like so many different ones with like the props and stuff. And um, trying to like not lose my voice, you guys, <laughs> because it's like now just seven o'clock. Oh my gosh, I'm like slowly losing my voice. But I wanted this room right here to be a little bit more cluttered just to like play around with like all of the posters, like I said and that like mixing music table. So I wanna play around with the music table a little bit more because honestly you guys, I didn't even see it when we were at Sims Camp. I don't know if I just kind of thought it had something to do with like the movie career, but um, yeah, that's actually something you can have fun with. And I did see a Sims community did like a whole entire blog post just on like that music table, so. Yeah, the bathroom. So the bathrooms in this um, home are definitely like nothing special. <laughs> I kind of was like running out of time at this point and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that flooring. So this flooring, I did see a lot of people were like, ew, oh my gosh, it looks so beat up. But I think it looks really cute as like a distressed flooring, maybe like in old farmhouses. And of course, in them like Western builds that are like on scene. So I'm probably gonna be using the flooring quite a bit just because I do like it. I just wish that we did have like maybe some more 
lighter versions. Like I feel like if we had one that was a little bit more like lighter grayish, <laughs> I think that one would look cute. And yeah, you guys just seen me cut that out. I did try to place in the vault in this home, but it just wasn't working. The hill was like glitching into it. And this room in particular, it's like not as big as it should have been. So you guys are definitely going to be seeing me do some like really fancy, wealthy kind of builds that has in that, um, the money vault. And I actually haven't even been able to play with that vault at all. So at this point, like I haven't even really played with the Get Famous pack yet. <laughs> so everything you guys are going to see me do with the Let's Play is going to be like completely brand new because I never even played at all with the um like with it at all when we had sims camp either so i cannot wait for you guys to see the let's play i'm still gonna be having like 100 baby of course that is not moving that is not going anywhere <laughs> but i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's build you guys i have no idea how i was able to do this voiceover so freaking early and if you find I'm sounding a little bit off I am <laughs> I'm like not even awake yet I haven't even eaten my breakfast yet but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's build and if you did of course make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up it always lets me know oh my gosh there's my hiccup <laughs> but it always lets me know you guys did enjoy let me know what you guys are most excited for about this pack or if you're just looking forward to using them new free train tools and make sure to subscribe if you have not already and hopefully I'm gonna get to see you all in my next video bye guys